Yes, I am the elephant man. I tour this country, this white land. Folks pay good money. Orphan King so is a collection of stories of real outsider types. The Orphan King is a journey. And man, honestly, like, Ed's writing takes you on a journey every song. Oh, I can see me rolling home with you. Where I could dream that all our dreams come true. Ed's got a great sense of melody and a really well-developed lyrical style. My father held me one time. And then he said goodbye, but I still believe in love. Ed is just one of those people that attracts exciting adventures and fabulous musical experiences. There is an inspired song that's the guiding light of whatever works in front of you. That's everything. And pound for pound, Ed writes as good a song as anybody I know. The Orphan King became the title track really because it was probably the most autobiographical. In that process of writing that song, I came to take a DNA test, which led me to find out that my father wasn't my father. Hail to the Orphan King With a crooked smile And a crackerjack ring I made it about a father leaving so for me it's that belief that you can get kicked around but come out on the other side but i still believe in love roll simone played i really can't underestimate what he did i know he's worked with people like rick rubin and he's had some top records with the lumineers but the folks that he knows is unbelievable. Like when he just picked up the phone and called um, his friend Larry, and Larry says, yes, well, it's Larry Campbell. My whole approach is to just worship the song. And if we really listen to it, it'll, it'll tell us what it wants. Some of the songs on the record, as you know, are stripped down and um, really lonesome. And I love those. And I also love the ones um, where we create sort of this uh, sonic barrage of interweaving destinies. Yeah, they're sleeping pretty good tonight in Alabama. We have this really old tube microphone from 1957 that we were able to use on Ed's voice. And the second he sang into it, he just fell in love with the sound, and it was something that we were able to capture throughout the whole record. It's not like a typical studio. It was like being in someone's living room. And it was just this warm, open feeling and it was live. And the space drove a lot of how it ended up sounding. I was surrounded, but I found a new lover somehow. It was a very collaborative effort. That creative thing, just like around the room, you know, it wasn't just like, okay, you did this. It was like group effort, and that's always fun. I'm gonna get me a brand new apartment. The most pleasant experience you can have making music is when the people that you're making music with are open-minded to what you are and what you do and are accepting and are willing to be inspired by you and Ed's every bit you know one of those things feeling that support it's like getting in an amazing car like a car with a flipping engine and and you just hold on well, my heart is open when you broke through my ribs Well, I wasn't joking I showed you exactly where my love is But you blew Yeah, out it's, it's honest, you know? It's a real honest uh, display of who he is. And he can write a line, you know? He's, you can be wise and in love, just not at the same time. Now that's... That's, that's, yeah. that's brilliant. It is. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I feel like it's the last page of a book. You know, it's like, whoop, I feel like that chapter has been completed and I'm really happy with it. And now I'm really curious about what the next chapter is. Well, don't you worry about me, baby.
Nej. 